Hello and welcome to the FDT TV podcast. My name is Ian and this week I am here alone. The 31st Premier League season is now over. Man City won it for the third consecutive seasons. And along the way, a few records are broken. Uh, but before we get into that, make sure you're subscribed over on the YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of the, the news, the, the season, the every, everything that's going to go on in the off-season, getting ready for next season, which is going to be even more exciting, seeing Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton coming up. Uh, but let's get started, shall we, with the records. Arsenal broke the record for spending the longest time uh, in amount of days with 245 on top of the Premier League in the top flight without winning the title. That's the longest in English top flight history. I think it might, might um, a couple of weeks ago, like 93% of the season they spent on top. Doesn't mean anything though, does it? Not at the end of the season when they won nothing. Uh, the 22-23 the season was the highest scoring 38-game season in Premier League history with a total of 1,084 goals. 2.85 goals a game. The best in history of the Premier League ever. Erling Haaland helped with that, breaking the Premier League goal-scoring record all-time, regardless of how many games were played in the season. 36 goals. I think in all competitions, he wasn't far off, and he could, depending on what happens in the FA Cup final and Champions League final, break Dixie Dean's record, which has stood for many, many years. I think he's still about eight, nine goals off of that. But strange things have happened. The way they dismantled Real Madrid in a semi-final... He, he could be he could be in for a winner. Uh, and 15 managers lost their jobs in total this season. That's more than half of the Premier League, but it wasn't really. It was half the clubs sacked 15 managers. And 10 managers stayed in their jobs. Um, just It was a real managerial turnaround. Um, obviously, Southampton, Leeds and Leicester, unfortunately, didn't make the cut. Uh, were below par and have now been relegated to the championship. I'm sure there are a few players amongst all of those teams who will be sought after and we will see in the Premier League next season and there will be a few that are never seen again. Um, and Newcastle, what a season for them. Eddie Howe has led them to the Champions League and next season they St James's Park will see Champions League football for the first time in two decades. I think it was 2003 the last time they played there or played Champions League football. Um, and cast your minds back. I mean, this has been a long, drawn out season. Tuchel, Conte, that handshake, that was this season. I mean, they beat both of those managers, lost their jobs. Um, and we also had a World Cup. I mean, it's 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 been a really long, drawn out season. It's been a bit weird that, that it's, it's unusual. There's teams that have done well, there's teams that have done badly. With, I mean, Man City did well, Arsenal, again, did really well for a long period of time but couldn't get over the finish line. Newcastle done well. Uh, Eric Ten Hag, Robert De Zerbe, both impressed for, for Man United and Brighton, respectively. Unai Emery came in, changed Aston Villa's season, t- turned it around from relegation fodder to finishing in European football. I mean... <sighs> What what else what else could we do? Talk about that's positive. Probably loads. Let's talk about some of the negative though. Liverpool, they did play really well sometimes, but they also had some Sunday league howlers, didn't they? They were awful at points in this season. Um, they 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 managed to claw it back to a fifth fifth finish, but not really uh, impressed. I don't think the Liverpool fans are. Um, what else has happened? I mean. Chelsea, let's talk about Chelsea, £600 million spent, three managers gone through this season, they started off with Tuchel, who, who I think won them 10 points, then he got sacked, they brought in Graham Potter, and it seemed like new ownership, new management, it's going to go hand in hand, it's going to be a transitional period, a, a long drawn out process to make sure that everything's being pulled in one direction, they've got their right man, done their due diligence, but they couldn't score. And that didn't help Grand Potter. There was moments that Chelsea were playing beautiful football this season and they just couldn't score. £600 million spent. They didn't buy a bloody striker. Whose idea was this? Um, they, they they then got rid of Potter, didn't they? That's the second manager. Uh, which is something that... Um, uh, Roman Abramovich, couldn't think of his name then, never did. He, he was known for sacking his managers, having high managerial turnover. He never went through more than one manager a season or sacked more than one manager a season. 
Chelsea, as I, as I said, Tuchel started. Potter took over. He got sacked. Frank Lampard come back in. He's now left. And Potticino will be taking over. So so I think you can count that as three managers, even though Lampard was always going to leave. Um, I just, yeah, they, they finished down bottom after the table. Uh, I mean, had Tuchel not won those points at the beginning of the season, could they have been relegated? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. They weren't far away. Now, uh, there is a shortlist for team of the se- or team of the season for manager of the season. Mikel Arteta, Robert Zerbi, Unai Emery, Pep Guardiola, Eddie Howe and Marco Silva. Now, this looks a little bit like a two-horse race at the moment. Looking at the early polls that I've, I've seen, Robert Zerbi and Pep Guardiola are battling it out with Robert Zerbi actually taking the lead. Um, he's... He, he's been phenomenal with Brighton. They've played some wonderful football. They've been the team to watch. Can he can he add that title to his to his resume? Possibly. Will he be at Brighton next season? These are all big questions that will be discussed next week. We're going to do a team by team breakdown next week. We're also going to bring you our teams of the season um, when Mike is is, is back. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through club by club, looking at the good, the bad, the ugly. And, and and maybe what what their hopes are for next season, especially being, being as three of those teams haven't played this season. Where do we think they're going to happen, or what's going to happen next year? And as we always do, the predictions trophy. I couldn't keep it this year. It, it didn't happen. I was maybe a little bit too flamboyant with some of my predictions, but hey ho, it's it's one of those things, isn't it? I mean. I, I couldn't let Mike, the Arsenal fan, go go away empty-handed, having broken so many records this season. So I did let him win. We are going to have to, to transfer that over to him at some point. But we also did a bit of a, a joint tier list of, of where we thought teams would finish. So we'll, we'll bring you that next week as well. Some of them we got spot on, some of them we didn't quite. Um, but we, we'll have a look at that and see, see roughly whereabouts we were for... <laughs> predicting the season let's say um but yeah it's it's been a wonderful season there's been lots of football played there's been as i said really good moments really bad moments and it's not over yet there is a manchester derby for the fa cup manchester city could walk away treble winners with a champions league final as well and west ham it's not been all bad i mean they could also be European champions as well. Could they? Could they knock out a few people? Uh, I mean, and the, 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 I have to say it, Spurs. They've been Spursy this year, haven't they? Bought in another serial winner, and what they won? Nothing. Well, oh, maybe there's something more going on at that club. Uh, but again, we'll discuss that in a bit more detail next week. So all I would say is make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel or subscribe to wherever you're listening to your podcast because we're available on every platform that I can think of. And until next week, I've been Ian. Enjoy the off-season. Make sure you tune in for our season summary next year. Next year? Next week, next Monday. But until then, look after yourself. Stay safe.